गुड मॉर्निंग योर नेम आई एम भानु कुमार शर्मा ओके हेलो कैन आई हैव योर रेज्यूमे श्योर इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ सर आई एम भानु कुमार गुरे 24 इयर्स ओल्ड आई एम अ वेब डेवलपर एंड आई एम हैविंग अ बैचलर्स डिग्री so in a stream of triple e in a elur college with an 85 percentage and we're coming to my uh, product skills uh, i recently have developed some uh, so chart boot app and a smart irrigation system as by using a think cloud uh, software so and when coming to my so training skills i have developed uh, i tried uh, train in the so dot net uh, frameworks and uh, python uh, python skills and uh, everything um, I've been up everything skills. So while coming to my hobbies and interests, uh, I'm very much interested in uh, knowing of new technologies and uh, new skills about the development process and the software. Okay, nice. Good fun. So, look, how much did yourself develop it? According to my knowledge, I generally rate myself as a three point two to the five star. So, what is CLR? CLR stands for the Common Language Runtime, which is basically a .NET framework execution engine for every .NET framework. Okay. So, what is the difference between static and instance variables? basically static is a variable which can uh, which can access in a uh, which can access in the c sharp code in anywhere in out of the class or in a inside a method or anywhere but a instance is a non static variable which can be accessed inside the class only not in the method so static variable also called as an global variable which can access in the any method but uh, instance is not a not a static so it cannot be accessed in any method outside the Okay, what is a string? A string is a variable which can be uh, not in numeric form. Okay, fine. So, what is the difference between string and string builder? A little bit more about this. Okay. What is the difference between method of overloading and method of overriding? So method of overloading is uh, nothing but an so method having a same name and uh, we are calling with it in a different parameters is called as uh, method of overloading, overriding, mm -hmm. overloading. And while coming to method overriding, so we can call different methods of same same uh, same name methods in different forms, different classes, a uh, different class in different classes. Okay. So, what is the difference between for loop and for each loop? So, for loop, basically, we know when we know the condition of uh, condition as a iteration, how many iterations we can uh, do, uh, we can be converted as for loop. And uh, for each loop, only basically it meant for doing specific iteration. Okay. What is a constructor? So, constructor is basically used for the non-static variables. So, which can uh, which is also construct is also a method which can be assigned for only non static variables so what is a constructor chaining constructor chaining by calling a constructor chaining means uh, we can chain the constructor methods with the same name and uh, we can revoke the values uh, which are uh, in different uh, simply the constructor chaining is nothing but calling one constructor to the Another constructor that is nothing but a constructor chain, and also we can able to call the directly right. from one constructor to the yeah, another right. constructor also, right? So what is the uh, and variable initialization? Variable initialization is uh, placing some value inside a method or in class is known as a variable initialization. We can initiate by mm -hmm. using initialization. Okay. So what are the principles of loops? Principle. Inheritance. So, principle of loops so are basically are uh, four type: uh, inheritance, and uh, encapsulation, and a polymorphism. So, and encapsulation. So, what is compact error and runtime error? Compact error and uh, runtime error basically comes in the only C sharp uh, execution process only. 
So runtime error is uh, comes under an uh, error which was uh, not sorted out, and uh, compare time error which comes. Compare time errors comes the code will not execute. Runtime error if runtime error comes, the code will be executed, but uh, error will be not will be have to fix it. Okay, what is a garbage collection? Garbage collector is a memory management system which was basically uh, comes into function when the code execution process uh, completes after a uh, main method function. So it, uh, the main function of the garbage collector is to uh, allocate a memory and uh, recollect the uh, unused data in the code execution process. Okay, what is CTS? So the common type system is basically so, which is a system in, a dot, uh, in all the .NET frameworks, it will be comment type system. So, using this comment type system in .NET frameworks, we can access a lot of uh, frameworks in a .NET framework now. Okay, so then what is the JIT compiler? Just in time is a JIT compiler. So, it comes in a comp uh, compiler process only. So it will execute, it will convert the intermediate language into some machine code language. Intermediate language is basically code language is basically converted by the execution process. It will be uh, understand by the C sharp code and uh, it will convert to the uh, machine code language to the C sharp code. Okay. So what is the difference between get type method and type of method? Get type method is basically used to call the function, functions of methods in a specific uh, name class. So simply the type of it will return that data type of the base type. And whereas a get type it will return that variable data type and its base types. Simply type of we are able to use it is a it is act like as a operator whereas a get type it can act as a method. Okay, honey, that's all. Thanks.